I am Dr. Vijay Kumar Reddy, Dr. Sanjeev Kumar. Today, we are showing imaging that is intravascular ultrasound or IVS of the left main. Left main is one segment where there is the highest degree of inter-observed variability regarding the stenosis. So, to, to circumvent this problem, there are some methods. One is called FFR and another is intravascular imaging in called IBS. Any lesion which is less than MND is less than 6 is, is considered to be very significant stenosis in left main disease. A arterial sheath, we took a 7 French arterial sheath in the right femoral artery. Mr. Raja Reddy is having two other diseases, got distal circumflex which is totally occluded and uh, Distal left main and osteal LED showing intermediate lesions. In some of the views shows it is a significant lesion and in other views it's showing a borderline lesion. So the entire decision depends upon the significance of the left main disease. So for that we are doing the intravascular imaging which is very 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 useful and effective tool. Antiplatelet drugs and heparin 100 units per kg. Now we have we have engaged the left main AP cordal. Now we are seeing distal left main and LAD. This is there is a. Now we are passing the wire into the LED. Yeah. First catheter, which is called optic rasp, manufactured by Boston Scientific. It is a three French inch size. It has got a that is a motorized mechanical pullback system. We have to withdraw the optic cross IVAS catheter at the speed of 0.5 mm. Advancing the IVAS catheter. Now we are seeing the catheter, this IVAS catheter in the guide. Now it is in the tip of the Now we are showing the IVAS images on the center we are seeing the black spot that is a IVAS catheter and there is a intima, media, internal elastic lamina and adventitia. So all the three layers of the vessel is seen in this video. Now we are withdrawing the IVAS catheter by mechanized motor drive with a speed of 0.5 millimeters per second. Now we are coming from the distal LED approximately into the left main. Now you are able to see the IVAS catheter. Now we are coming to the LED. Now there is a some black structure that is a venous system. You are able to see the oblique sinus. That black one is a now there is a left main bifurcation. We are seeing the circumflex and 
R3 and LAD. Now you are seeing the arthromatous block in the LED. Now you are seeing the eccentric block in the distal left may which is very significant. We have measured the area which is 5.41 which is very significant. The by definition the Significant stenosis in left main is anything less than 6 square millimeters. Here it is 5.41, it indicates it is a significant disease. Now we are able to see the measurements and uh, arthromatous block. This, this is called block volume. Now the area according to IBUS is 5.41. We can measure the by IBUS the histology, the lipid component, whether it is necrotic, whether it is fibrotic, whether it is uh, calcific, all these things also we can identify that is called virtual histology. Sunshine. It's